The purpose of this video is to show you how products go in, picked, are put away, and how they're, when they're sold, they're picked and delivered. So first step is to look at my inventory. I have two locations, bin one and bin two, and they belong to the general warehouse stock, which is the parent location. Next, when I go to purchase a product, I always put, I have it set up so that product uh, X and product Z go to their specific bins. I believe X goes to bin one, Z to bin two. So when the purchase order gets confirmed, it generates the delivery order. Now your warehouse team will see an incoming product here and they can select it and they'll see when it's set to be delivered. And that day when it's delivered, they can open it up, print out the picking operation. And before I do that, I'm going to make it more realistic by adding some barcodes. So now when they go and generate their, right, they can action print their picking. This will print out the picking document here. And they'll see they have to print this and they can deliver product X to bin one and product Z to bin two. And let's just say hypothetically, um, there is a uh, second purchase order. For 12 units and 543 units. Same concept applies. The receipt is created. Here is the deliver the warehouse in, and you can print out the picking and see there's another incoming order for the corresponding units to go to those specific bins. Now, there's something else you can do here. Let's say they both arrive at the same day in my inventory. I'll see I have two to process. I can open them, select action, and add to a batch, and I can create a pat a batch. I can say incoming products for that day, Feb 15th, 2019, and add to a batch. And just like that, you'll see this is part of a batch. So you'll always be able to go to your batch pickings up here, see unconfirmed and draft. I can assign them to a specific user to pick and confirm. And that will assign Nick Kaczynski the pick and if he prints out his batch picking here, you will see there are two delivery orders I'm dealing with today. And here are all the different lines associated with each of those orders. Uh, so once this is done, once I scan everything and put it in, I mark it as done and apply. And that would actually move those quantities into stock. And I'll see I have 14 and 545 in their just defined bins. Now, if I go to sales and create and sell John Doe something, product X and product Z, let's just say 50. I don't even have 50. So let's say um, 12 and 500 and confirm it, that generates my delivery order and your delivery team will go in and see they have two to process and they'll be able to go ahead and print out the pickings for those and this would print out two pickings in this example, one for the first order from bin one and two and then for the second order bin one and two which is for set order number two. If you wanted to combine these you could look at product moves and you could filter out by deliveries to do group by and you could have it the uh, the from location so this will show you all those are all the quantities done you could also use studio to show you uh, quantities reserved or initial demand even which is the uh, which is the uh, equal to the reserved quantity. Where is that? Um, 
All right, I just want to look at the different options. You'd want the real reserved quantity. So that will show you like what you actually have to look at here. So let's look at here. If I have to do deliveries, and then I can group by from where I'm picking it, and I can see everything I have to pick in group one or everything I have to pick in group two, and uh, make sure it's to do as in it's ready to go. And I can see the status, it's all available, meaning it's all in stock. And from here, I could have a, a, pr a picking report that would group by the bin I have to pick. So this would show me all, it would print in this exact line and show me everything in bin one, everything in bin two. Um, that's how you could begin to structure some sequence there. The other option is to look at the barcode app operations. And here you'll see your deliveries you have to process. And this is what the barcode interface looks like. So if I click this with my finger on like a scan gun, it'll open up a screen that looks like this and your team will start scanning. It'll be like beep and it would, I'm going to do it manually. It would upload that to one and then your team would be able to go to the next picking and then beep and this would upload it to one and your team would go and be able to say, all right, this picking is validated and it would validate that picking and the next one would same concept, right? They would scan the 12 items or manually enter them and then here they'd scan the 500 items or manually enter them and beep and then same concept keep validate the picking and just like that that would also empty out your operations and deliver your products as you'll see and everything will be reflected in my inventory accordingly i only have one unit left of x and 44 left of z and if i look at my product moves and if i look at uh, deliveries that are done and if i group by my product or if i group by my reference i can see per picking I delivered the 512 units for picking warehouse out two and warehouse out 500 and then 12 and then one, one and one here. So that should give you an idea. If I do it by product, it's probably easier to understand. That way I can see the product and the different pickings on each or product and reference. One for one, one for two, one for one, one for two, and their unique quantities, all marked as done. You can see that up here as well. Status. So if you have any additional questions, please let me know.